Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hook up your airbrush. Take three, get the lines right. How to hook up your airbrush to your shock compressor. At its simplest in most basic form. What you're going to need is an adapter from the compressor and then that adapter to go from there to your airbrush hose. The adapter you're going to need from your compressor is going to be one quarter inch NPT by that quick adapter. The, there's a difference in the adapters. There's a couple of different types. The one you're most likely to encounter in all of your home compressors are going to be are going to be industrial type. The other type is automotive type. If you got automotive type fitting, you probably know already exactly how to hook up to your airlines. So you're looking for automotive types and you can tell the difference. The automotive type, if you compare them side by side versus the industrial type, the industrial type like this, this piece is longer from this round, this section right here. The automotive type is shorter and it's a little bit fatter and it will not hook up to most of your home compressors. So once you do that, you've got your compressor adapter to one quarter inch NPT and then you have your female quarter inch NPT adapter to your airbrush hose which is one eighth of an inch B s b threads and i'm going to leave you guys a link down with a hose that comes with those comes with this adapter so you won't have to be digging around for it but if you need to just get the adapter it is b s b by quarter inch npt put some teflon tape on these screw them together and you will be able to take your hose and hook your hose up to that BSB fitting. If you have a Badger or a Pash airbrush, you may also need an adapter that looks like this. The hose that I'm gonna link you guys to is going to come with an adapter for Badger, which is what this one is, and it's gonna come with an adapter for Pache and it's going to come up with this adapter and then I will leave you a link for one of these adapters. And all that's left is hook up here, screw my airbrush on, and you're ready for airbrushing bliss. Now that's it in its most simplest form. However, what I would recommend is that you get a coil hose and then a moisture trap regulator combo. I know you have a regulator built into your compressor, but by having this attached to a moisture trap filter combination, you can set this under your desk or under your workbench or what have you, or maybe even in a closet, and then you can run this out and you can have your regulator right there where you work, which I'll show you how I have mine set up in a moment. Now, mine's going to be a little bit different, but uh, as you can see, I have my coil hose. It comes into my regulator moisture trap combination, and then it goes into a block, which has shutoffs for individual hose so that I can always keep more than one hose hooked up to my airbrush station. I'm gonna tuck down because I'm trying to get this in here. So this is how I have my setup working and I understand I have a really messy easel. I'm working all the time airbrushing. So now I've got my filter, water filter, and my regulator right here. I can adjust everything where I work and my compressor is mounted a remote location in behind kind of a closet door. I have a large compressor that I use because I do a great deal of volume. The reason it's beneficial for you to use that coil hose and use your 
moisture filter remounted away from your compressor is because the way as your compressor runs it heats up and the water will condense as it cools down that's what creates the moisture is from the compressor for the hot air so you get condensation in order for it to, to condensate it has to cool off so all of those moisture filters you see mounted directly on like your airbrush compressors usually are more there for looks and using the regulator the regulator is obviously important but most of the time they never catch any water because it doesn't have time to cool off to condense so if by using that coil hose it allows it to condense and then any water will get caught into my filter all right guys so i will leave you a link down for a filter and pressure regular combo and i will leave you a link for a hose that comes with the adapter and i will leave you a link for that adapter down below and that'll give you the information that you need once again at, at its very least you got this if you do go this way direct into your compressor and you're just going to run that i would suggest you get a moisture filter that hooks up directly to the bottom of your airbrush um, because you are going to get some condensation and it's good not to be shooting water through getting those conden condensed water through into your airbrush and uh but yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of this video. I appreciate y'all. I'm Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry. I have lots and lots of airbrush tutorials if you're interested in checking them out. And I am going to have shortly a video about why I recommend shop style compressors over airbrush compressors in most circumstances. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, we appreciate you coming by here. Y'all have a good one. Bye.